So just kind of want your reaction to the stare down there. I mean, it started a little bit far away, but then Joanna did what she does. Were you expecting that from her before you stood up there, or what was kind of your, your thoughts going into that? For sure, I knew that she would come and get in my face, but um, it wasn't actually what I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. So uh, it, it is what it is, but it was fine. She's not scary at all. What did she say to you? She said, uh, welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? You said something back too, didn't you? Yeah, I told her I'm not scared. And she says, just wait till the octagon doors closes. I said, okay, I'm ready. And that's what it was. How do you think she's going to change in her approach? You know, she's been fighting five round championship fights for the past three years, and now she kind of has to work within three rounds. And her style seems very conducive to five round fights. So how do you think she's going to try to compete with a shorter window here? I just think it's going to be more fast paced. You know, she uh, does very well with the five round fights, and uh, I'm sure that three rounds is, is going to make it, I guess, maybe be even better because she has, you know, I know it's less time, but um, uh, cardio-wise, you know, it's easier on us. And how do you think your karate matches up with her Muay Thai? Oh, very well. She's going to be in for a surprise. Uh, I think uh, there hasn't been many girls who could um, match her speed, and I'll be able to do that. What do you think uh, you've learned from her fights with Rose that can help you in, in this fight? Uh, for Rose, uh, definitely her movement and uh, just not standing in front of her and uh, not backing down, I thought, was what did it for her. So uh, I'll go off of that, and then I have my own approach as well. You want to think very strongly that if she wins this fight, she has a title shot, even though she's already lost to Rose twice. What do you think? Is, do you feel like this is kind of a title eliminator fight? Uh, on my end, yes. On Joanna's, no. Um, because of um, Andrade and Carolina fighting as well. On my end, I think it could catapult me to that number one contender spot as, you know, no one else has been able to beat Joanna except for Rose. Um, but if, should, you know, Joanna become vic victorious this weekend, I don't think she'd be catapulted right back in there. Do you think that she's saying that because she believes it or do you think she's saying that because, you know, to keep, to keep her confidence up? Um, maybe both, I don't know. Or maybe she knows something that, that we all don't know. Uh, I, I highly doubt that. Have you been given any indication by the UFC that this could be, you know, a, a, a fight that propels you to a title shot? No, and even before the Andrade fight, when I thought that would be a title of fight, I hadn't heard anything from the UFC, and it obviously wasn't, I guess, since Andrade is fighting again. Yeah. Well, I think that was largely because it seems like Rose is going to be out for a bit, right? Uh, I've heard that, yes, but I don't know. She's training um, at ATT, which is your old gym, and uh, I know some of the coaches that are going to be in her corner were not necessarily your coaches, but there is a little bit of crossover there. Mm -hmm. is, is, that, is that at all strange? Is that at all a disadvantage for you? No, no. Um, I'm a completely, you know, uh, different fighter. I've been evolving. Um, yeah, I trained with ATT for six years. Grateful for them. But um, like you said, those coaches aren't necessarily my head coaches when I was there. So uh, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, it's a business. And there's no hard feelings. At least I don't have any for ATT. And I'm sure they don't for me as well because I left on good terms. And it was because, you know, I was following my heart. She, Bianca says that the fact that you have worked with uh, Rose a little bit, it's kind of flattering. And, you know, that she said you guys have to gang up together in order to find out ways to beat her. I mean, is that just her, you know, running her mouth kind of? Or do you think there's advantages with working with someone that obviously is competing against her? I've been working with Rose for the past now, probably year and a half, um, so, and solidly for the past year, because um, Raquel and I are like the only girls in Colorado Springs. So, of course, we're going to spread out and go to Denver and train with J.J. Aldridge and all the other girls, you know, in that area. So the media has portrayed it like me and Rose just started training for this Joanna fight, but we've been training, you know, previously for her previous fight and for my previous fight. So, um, you know, it is what it is. How is it going to play out if, you know, you win this fight and you get into a position to fight Rosie? And I mean, have you guys discussed this? Obviously, you have a history already, but it seems like you've maybe built more of a bond since the last time you competed. So how is this going to shake out if you guys have to run it back once again? Oh, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, business is business. We know that there's a possibility of us fighting down the line, but my main focus has been Joanna. There's been no, you know, thought of fighting Rose. It's just been Joanna. You're not uh, picking up little secrets that you're storing away in a little box in the back of your mind or anything like that? No. I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> if, uh, if there was a 105 division in the UFC, would, would you move down? Would you consider that? I definitely would consider going down to 105. Uh, I walk 120 to 122, so uh, I try it and see where, it, where I feel best at. But um, Muay Thai fought 112, and I was very comfortable fighting there. So, uh, I mean, that, that's still, you know, always from 105, but I'd definitely try it.
I think you said you ate Olive Garden a few nights ago with the breadsticks. Oh yeah, for sure, Olive Garden the other day. <laughs> Yesterday I had freaking uh, right across the street rice and uh, this chili sweet and sour fried chicken. It was good. So all these fighters are here cutting weight, and you're and you're eating. Olive Garden. And yeah. yeah, and I had a big breakfast today with bacon, eggs, and sausage. You know, I'm gonna eat well, very well today, and then I'll probably cut two or three pounds. If I if I ate like you know a rabbit or something or as cutting weight, I can make 115 without having to sit in a bath for 30 minutes. How bitter is Raquel that you, you don't have to cut all that much weight? Oh, she hates me for that. <laughs> I'm eating Cheetos, and she's like, you know, eating broccoli. <laughs> What did you learn from being alongside her from you know, her title fight experience and just going through that whole process of you know, challenging for the belt and, and just everything that entailed? Did it you know, open your eyes to anything about you know, once you eventually get that opportunity, how you might approach it? Um, I mean, it just made me very proud for her. At the end of the day, we both want the same thing, and fortunately for us, we're in different weight classes. So it was just a proud moment to see her get to that you know, spotlight. Uh, although it didn't go in our favor, it's like how many people in the world get to fight for the UFC? How many people get to fight for a world title? Not many at all. So it just makes me more hungry and eager to have that chance and opportunity for myself one day. And uh, I don't know, I'm just grateful to, to share it with her. Do you see any openings to finish Joanna in this fight? I mean, where do you think she's kind of the most vulnerable? We've obviously seen her stop with strikes before, never submitted. Um, where do you think you know she's the most vulnerable maybe in that area? Uh, I think her striking is where she's most dominant, but wrestling and jiu-jitsu, I think she is a, you know, great all around, but she's still learning and evolving there. So I think it, um, in those two areas. You guys are pretty close with Amanda Nunes uh, when you answer off. I think Amanda's probably going to fight Cyborg at some point later this year. How do you see that fight playing out? Oh, I, I see Amanda going in there and, and you know, wrecking havoc. I think it's going to be a, a, a great fight, but I can see Amanda going there and beating her. Finishing? Possibly, yeah. Amanda got, you know, she's powerful. How do you see Nina's fight going? I think Nina's going to dominate and win this weekend. For sure, her striking is uh, way better than uh, Randa's.